If you haven't seen the light art of Lumonix, a working studio in homage to the colorful, illuminated works of nonagenarian Dorothy Tanner and her late husband Mel, Google it now. Though best seen in person in a dark room, you'll get an idea of the magic being made there. Inspired? Now you can make your own light sculpture from plexiglass and LED lights with expert instruction at the Lumonic Studio. Taught by Tanner Associate Mark Ballard, the four session classes are an opportunity to bring the wonder of light to your own living room. No experience or artistic talent required. Let there be light. Westward, which awarded the Lumonic School of Light Art Best of 2019. The school offers an innovative, hands-on approach to learning light art in which you take home your original light sculpture upon completing the four-session class. You will be working with plexiglass and other materials and LED lighting. Importantly, you do not need to be an artist to take this course, but you will feel more artistic and confident of your artistic abilities when the class concludes. If you are an artist without experience working with plexiglass and LEDs, this is a great opportunity. Course instructor Mark Ballard has decades of experience working closely with trailblazing light sculptors Dorothy and Mel Tanner. Dorothy is the recipient of the 2018 Denver Mayor's Award for Excellence in Arts and Culture in the Innovation category. Just walking into the studio and gallery fires the imagination. New classes begin the first Saturday of every month and run four consecutive Saturdays, each session being three hours. Each class is limited to four students, so everyone gets as much personal attention as needed. Choose from either a morning or afternoon class. Students are guided in an intimate studio setting to create their own one-of-a-kind light sculpture. Some knowledge of shop tools is recommended, although not required. Students do what is comfortable for them. Mark will do the construction for any step if requested. Dorothy Tanner makes unscheduled visits to check on everyone's progress. You will learn how to electrify your artwork using LED bulbs and LED strips depending on your project. Learn what shop tools are required and how to use them. You will add your creativity to the artwork to bring it to completion on the final session. Dorothy Tanner, the Lord of Denver sculptor, is now taking students by Haley Gray, 5280 Magazine. Dorothy Tanner began working with light as her artistic medium of choice in 1967. At the time, she and her late husband Mel Tanner were forging a new path of futuristic minimalism in the art world. The Denver sculptor creates sculptures out of plexiglass, colored bulbs, and other materials that range from geometric abstractions to organic forms to patterned or lettered wall hangings, all of which glow. Students learn to cut the plexiglass and build it into a box that they could light from within with a colored bulb of their choice and ornament as they see fit. For Tanner, this is a sensible place to start. It's where she first began. The cube was one of the first forms she and her late husband created in Miami in the late 60s. Tanner says her husband had a spiritual experience at the time and chose from then on to work with light, a healing modality, she says. They pioneered multi-sensory installations, coordinating their lit works with auditory elements. 
Tanner's work has become more visually explicit. That is to say, her latest works feature clear messages like yes plus love equals bliss. But students can and should express their own messages however they fit.